Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Brenda Onyango Kitui. I am a counseling psychologist and a hospitality lecturer. I am excited to be here today to share with you some knowledge and information about alcoholism or alcohol use disorder as we refer to it in the professional field or simply AUD. But before I do that, I want to say a big, big thank you to the new subscribers Thank you for subscribing to this channel and welcome. Welcome to the Mental Health Awareness Campaigners community. And in this community, we have one task. And that task is to help raise awareness about mental health by sharing all the videos that you watch on this channel on all your social media platforms. Once again, thank you for subscribing to this channel. So on to the video alcoholism or alcohol use disorder. I'm sure we've seen or we've had or we are the ones who are going through a struggle with alcohol, yeah? Someone is trying to quit or you are trying to quit and you just can't seem to get that done, yeah? It's because alcohol use is actually a disorder and it is about time we stop judging people who are struggling with alcohol. It's time we develop some empathy and understanding so that we can provide them the necessary support, okay? So I'm going to take you through 11 symptoms that are used by psychiatrists to diagnose someone with alcohol use disorder. So number one symptom, alcohol is often taken in large amounts or over a longer period than was intended. So this person takes um, larger amounts than what they had promised themselves. So these are situations where you say, well, you know, I'm going to only take two bottles. I promise to take two bottles, then I call it a day. But in the process, you end up taking more, yeah? Or you say, I'm only going to go out for two hours, drink, then come back home. But you end up going for more hours. You end up going for three, four hours and you stay longer drinking and you can't keep the promise you'd made to yourself that I'm not going to take long. I'm not going to take large amounts. Yeah, that is a symptom of alcohol use disorder. Symptom number two, there is a persistent desire or unsuccessful effort to cut down or control alcohol use. So you keep saying, I'll stop, I'll stop taking alcohol. I promise I'm going to stop drinking, but you can't. Your efforts are unsuccessful, okay? That's a symptom of alcohol use disorder. Symptom number three, a great deal of time is spent in activities necessary to obtain, use, or recover from the effects of alcohol, yeah? So it takes you a lot of time to buy the alcohol or you have to go to a certain place to get the alcohol. It is taking you time, yeah? Or you take a lot of time using the alcohol. You take a lot of time drinking. Or you take a lot of time trying to recover from the effects. Your hangovers last a whole morning or a whole day, yeah? That is another symptom of alcohol use disorder. Then symptom number four, there's a craving, yeah, a strong desire or urge to use alcohol, yeah. When you go for a day or two or for some time without using alcohol, you have craving, yeah. You really have that strong, strong desire to take alcohol. Then symptom number five, recurrent alcohol use resulting in failure to fulfill major role or obligations at work, school or at home. So your use of alcohol or your recurring use of alcohol is making you fail in fulfilling your obligations at work. So maybe you are late to work, you can't get to work on time because you spent the night drinking and you did not wake up on time. Yeah. At school, you don't submit your assignments on time because you spent your time drinking. At home, you don't have time for your family or you don't do your chores because you spent your time drinking. That's another symptom 
of alcohol use disorder. Symptom number six, continued alcohol use despite having persistent or recurrent social or interpersonal problems caused by the effects of alcohol. Yeah, so you're having um, disputes. Yeah, you're having issues at home in your social situations because of the continued use of alcohol. Yeah, maybe your family keeps telling you you need to stop. You keep failing to meet your obligations, but you just can't stop taking the alcohol. That is symptom number six. Then symptom number seven, important social, occupational or recreational activities are given up or reduced yeah, because of alcohol use. So maybe you used to go to the gym, yeah, to do some exercise. But now that time that you used to go to the gym, you have taken that time to drink. So you've stopped doing your recreational activity, yeah. Or you used to do a certain hobby, yeah. But that time that you were spending doing the hobby, now you're spending it drinking, okay. Meaning you've given up your recreational activities or important social activities and you've replaced them with drinking. Yeah, that is symptom number seven for alcohol use disorder. Symptom number eight, recurring alcohol use in situations in which they are physically hazardous. So for example, you've taken your alcohol, you're intoxicated, but you still get behind the wheel to drive. You're putting yourself in danger. You're putting other people in danger and you might even destroy someone else's property, yeah? So you're putting yourself in physically hazardous situations and you are intoxicated and it keeps reoccurring, yeah? You keep doing it over and over again. That's a symptom of alcohol use disorder. Symptom number nine, alcohol use is continued despite knowledge of having a persistent or recurrent physical or psychological problem that is likely to have been caused by alcohol. Yeah, so you know that alcohol is making you put yourself in a physically hazardous situation. You know alcohol is causing you psychological problems but you still do it anyway, yeah? Because the alcohol has taken over your reasoning, yeah? That is symptom number nine for alcohol use disorder. Symptom number 10, you've developed tolerance, meaning you need more alcohol to get high. Let's say at the beginning you take two bottles and you feel, okay, well, I'm high. But now it's gotten to the point where you need more than two, yeah? Two is not working for you anymore. You need more. That means you've developed tolerance and that's a symptom for alcohol use disorder. Then the last symptom, which is withdrawal, yeah? You have withdrawal symptoms when you go for a long time without taking alcohol. So you're experiencing trembling, you are experiencing fatigue, body aches, stomach upset because you've gone for a long time without taking alcohol. That's a symptom of alcohol use disorder. Okay, so those are the 11 symptoms of uh, alcohol use disorder diagnosis. There are other tests that are used to assess if someone has AUD. One of them is called audit, another one is called cage. I will put a link to where you can get the audit test or the cage test so that you can assess yourself if you have alcohol use disorder. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching to the end. Make sure you watch the other videos on this channel. There are videos to educate you on issues of mental health and to help you find a better way to navigate through life. Thank you once again for watching. 
Make sure you do your mental health awareness campaigners task by sharing this video on all your social media platforms. Goodbye, I'll see you in the next video. Mental is human.